ready to rock. Local musicians are prepared to hit the stage for a very good cause. And joining me this morning to talk about it is John Carney from the Center for Children and Families. Thanks for coming in, John. Thanks for having me. Well, first of all, talk to us about DCCH and what it does. The DCCH Center for Children and Families is a residential treatment facility for youth that have that are victims of uh, child abuse and neglect. And we have uh, boys and girls ages 6 to 14. And unfortunately, this is a situation we see plenty of kids falling into these days, isn't it? Yes, uh, we have seen an increase in referrals in our program uh, within the past couple of years. What do you think that's about? The heroin epidemic? More than likely, yes. And what do these kids deal with in terms of, you know, a lot of people have an idea of what a normal household is. Not always the case, is it? No. Um, they, they do come with a lot of trauma, and uh, so when they come to our agency, we really just try to show them that there are adults out there that care about them and will care for them, and we really just try to get them ready to get them into a foster home. And you've spent a lot of years working with kids. I know that you're more on development side now, but talk about how those kids respond to love and respect and things like a timeline and expectations for responsibility. Well, as you can imagine, when they first come into the program, they, you know, very quiet. They they don't know who they can trust or if they can trust anyone. But over time, you see through our um, through the therapy and through our programs, you really see them start to open up and um, be a child, really. I mean, they just, you know, see that life come back to them and they they want to enjoy all the things that we took for granted as kids growing up. Yeah, well, bless their hearts and give them resiliency. And your work's so important to them, and you got to be funded. So you're doing a rock concert. That sounds good. What's going to happen at this concert? Well, in a nutshell, it's uh, two nights, uh, two stages, 12 bands, and uh, food, wine, bourbon tastings, and Ooh. craft beer. Anything you could want out there on a beginning summer night on the weekend. That sounds good. Talk about the uh, the bands. Who's playing? Uh, on Friday night, we've got on the main stage, we have um, the, the Mitchells and uh, Pete Dressman opening up for the menus. And then on Saturday night, we have uh, Young Heirlooms and Carter New opening up for Jameson Road. And then we also have an acoustic stage. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, who's going to be playing on that? Um, don't I don't quite know, have the lineup memorized it's not for that, but we in, have but somebody. Uh, groups like Queen City Silver Stars, Wolf Crier, uh, Hunting Houston, and the Turkeys. Okay, great. Perfect. Sounds like a lot of good bands. So hopefully you've perked some ears with the names of those bands and also with the idea that somebody could go and spend a little bit of money to have a lot of good times and help those poor kids that need that funding. Yes, come on out. Yeah. Well, thank you fun. so much for talking to us about it. The Music Fest will be at the DCCH campus. That's on Orphanage Road in Fort Mitchell. It'll be next Friday and Saturday from 6 to 11.30 each night. And you can get more information about going on the On TV tab at WLWT.com. Just go there and click on the As Seen On section. Thanks so much for coming in and talking to us. Thanks again. You bet. Now here's Big.